Okay, the Melbourne Storm have been embroiled in a drug scandal. It involves Cameron Munster and Brandon Smith, amongst others. Uh, the NRO Integrity Unit is involved. And it's a worrying suspicion, let's just say. There's, there's video footage that is, well, it's not, it's not a good look. Considering that days before Reese Walsh, another NRO player, was arrested in possession of, of cocaine in the Gold Coast outside an nightclub. Now, the Warriors came out very quickly and, and released a statement. Reese Walsh released a statement. Um, they fronted the media very, very quickly. Um, Greg Bellamy is obviously having to answer a lot of questions, considering that, he, yes, he did win the Dally M Coach of the Year, but this footage leaked hours before the Dally M Awards ceremony on Monday. Um, it's all over social media. You go on Twitter, it is uh, all over social media. It's in the Australian media. It's not being really reported over here in the UK. But in a wider uh, conversation, there is obviously the conversation about, like, you know, recreational drugs, should they be legalised, should they be taken off the banned lists? We've seen at the Olympics with, with cannabis. Uh, and um, in some jurisdictions, yeah, personal use is not criminalised. Uh, that's another discussion for another time. But rugby league as a sport, this is not a new thing. Uh and it's not anything for the Melbourne Storm either. There's multiple players, both here in the UK in the Super League and over in the NRL, who have, well, been caught either using cocaine, failed drugs tests with cocaine, metabolic, metabolism, metabolites in their system, shall I say, um, being arrested by the police in possession. And it's not just cocaine, it's, it's other drugs as well. Um, exactly when this footage was filmed, it could be straight after their Penrith game. It could be at any point during the finals or during the bubble process up in Queensland. What we do know is when they played Penrith, both Brandon Smith and, and Cameron Munster looked off. Brandon Smith went off injured anyway. Cameron Munster just did not look himself. And when they arrived at the Dally M Awards ceremony, they were clearly, it was it was known within that playing group that this video had obviously been circulated um, on the internet. Last year, it was uh, Maiden uh, got done on grand final day. Uh, a few years before, as Proctor and, uh, and Bromwich. Uh, we've seen Zach Hardacre over here uh, in the UK when he returned to Super League. Oh, oh, again, just before a grand final. Uh, so this is not a this is not a um a new thing. And I've seen a lot of comments going, "Ah, oh, let them party! It's Mad Monday." Um, these are role models for for young kids. Um, you know, a lot of people on social media, the, the keyboard warriors, as I call them, I don't think they've been to a a drug rehabilitation centre, um, or or seen like gone into hospital to see someone have an overdose. Trust me, it's not a it's not pleasant. Um, I know people who have had overdoses. I know people who've gone through rehabilitation and Addicts Anonymous. Um, it's not a pleasant process. And yeah, these are role models, and this is not a good look for the NRL. Considering obviously they've with all that's happened in the last two years and to renegotiate TV deals, getting players to obey COVID protocols uh, with a few COVID breaches, and considering what happened with Barbecue Gate as well, when when players just outright flouted um, the rules and didn't care, there does seem to be a sense of entitlement within the player group as a whole, uh, with with all sixteen clubs. Um, there, you know, and. It's a privilege, not a right, to be a professional athlete. And, yeah, depending on what Melbourne do, I mean, the NRO Integrity Unit are investigating. Melbourne are being very tight-lipped. They're not releasing any statement, unlike the New Zealand Warriors with Reese Walsh. But it's not a good look on a PR standpoint, um, considering all the efforts that Andrew Abdo and Peter Volandis and the, and the ARL Commission and the NRL, all the efforts they made to relocate all the teams to Queensland, work with state governments to get games played over the last two years. Um, this is, again, more damaging headlines for the league. Uh, and, yeah, they're, they're just a, the last in a long list of players, be it high profile or more run-of-the-mill regular, just squad players who've, who've fallen afoul of, of drug misuse. Now, as I say, they haven't failed any tests, but the NRO Integrity Unit are investigating and suspensions are coming their way but if if Paul Vaughan got eight games for barbecue gate anything less than that would be a cop out by the NRL but they've set precedent in the past with Ben Barber giving him 12 games but he did fail uh, a, a test Proctor and Bromwich got two games by the club Sean Kenny, Sean Kenny Dow was, was booted out the Roosters and ended up at the Knights and then ended up over here um, so 
the the punishments are inconsistent. So I'll be interested to see what happens. But thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below, and uh, I'll have some more videos for you very very soon.